I've been keeping journals since 1974, and I now have a collection of 375 journals. And I decided um, at some point that I was going to take from my journals excerpts that I felt I wanted to share with other people. And in a way, it's my legacy project, lifelong legacy project. Um, I've divided my journals into 70 different topics and spent 14 years going through them and taking excerpts according to each of the topics. The following are random entries in my journals on the topic of the journey of journaling. July 17, 1987. What I know for sure is that I write for myself and never with the idea that anyone will read my journals. This frees my deepest secrets, heartfelt emotions, and random thoughts to come down on the page. July 23rd, 1987. I deposited yet another journal in my safe deposit box today. I feel a sense of security and safety keeping all 88 of them locked up in Home Savings Bank on Hollywood Beach where I can easily walk in and drop off each journal. Generally, no one there ever says a word to me about them. However, today as one of the bank employees walked with me upstairs to the safety deposit boxes, she asked me what these books were and why I'm putting them in safekeeping. I wonder if there are rules for bank vault keepers talking to customers about what they're depositing. However, I'm sure curiosity got the best of her. After all, they've been watching me come in for years now, carrying a journal which I place in my safety deposit box. It must seem so odd since most people secure their diamonds, jewelry, money, and important documents, but journals? December 31st, 1987. Max mentioned that he thought it was great that I was incredibly disciplined to write in my journals daily. I let him know that for me, it's not a matter of discipline, but something I am compelled to do. His response was, sound like you're driven. That's probably a clearer definition of my reality. I sometimes wonder why the need to record so much of my life my journaling is fundamental to my being, something I must do. It cleanses my soul. I feel unsettled on those days when I have, haven't had the chance to write yet and need to wait until evening to do so. August 16th, 1988. Some guy just came up to me and peered over my shoulder. He then asked me if I was writing a book or a diary and went on to say that if he had kept a diary, he could have made a fortune quote, after all I've been through in my life. He was hovering over me, which was unnerving, so I covered up what I was writing. That upset him. Not to worry, he said, I won't read what you're writing. Damn right he wouldn't. No one reads this stuff. March 25th, 1989. Since last week, when I finally decided what I wanted to do with my journals, I've noticed an occasional hesitation as I'm about to write something that might be sensitive in some way, realizing that someone could possibly be reading my journals decades from now. I promise myself that I will always write down whatever comes to mind. I know it's the only way I can journal since being honest with myself is the key to the process. I continue to be clear that I am writing these journals for my eyes only. I will not leave anything out. In fact, I went so far as to tell myself that should I ever not write something down because I wouldn't want anyone to see it, I will stop journaling. That's drastic, but it's the only way to confirm to myself how committed I am to being 100% honest in my journaling.